President-elect Joe Biden this week attended a news conference in Delaware. And that's it. That man is so boring and I love it. Yes. Woo, more! More! more. Yeah. He didn't do anything! Nothing! Come on! It was revealed last week that President Trump is currently $421 million in debt. And the national security implications are, oh, Look, a $20 bill. Hey, does this belong to anyone? Is this yours? Is it yours? Tarek, did you drop this? Oh, nope, it's all yours, bud. Whoa, $20. You know what that means, right? I've got $20 more than the president. You may not think it's a lot, but it's more than what Trump's got. I've got $20 more than the president. I've got $20 more than he has. Maybe I could lead a nation. Maybe I could host a reality show. I could say I'm a genius billionaire, when in reality, I Low. Maybe America works for the rich and the poor, the poor being Donald Trump. I could sink billions of dollars in failing businesses and land right on my rump. I'm landing on my big fat rump. I've got $20 more than the president. And it really blows my mind. We've both had our credit cards declined. I've got $20 more than the president. I've got $20 more than he has. Hey, Tarek, do you have change for a 20? Hmm, let's see. I've got one. Dollar more than Donald Trump. Two. Dollars more than he's worth. Three dollars more than our dear leader makes me feel like I'm king of the earth. Four dollars he would like to borrow from me. Five. It really blows my mind. Six, seven, eight. Hating poor people when you got more debt than almost all poor people combined. Nine, ten, eleven. It sends me to heaven. This man is a financial wreck. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Eating at his restaurant and he's got to skip out on the check. 15, 16, 17, 18. He owes everyone money and they're still waiting. 19. Dollars would be plenty, but look at me, Ma. I've got 20. <laughs> I've got $20 more than the president. People thought he was the goat. He's just a grifter trying to stay afloat. I've got $20 more than the president. I've got $20 more, <laughs> a whole $20 more. I've got $20 more than he where you're just overloaded with information? Well, I got that this week watching the election coverage. Ever since Tuesday, I have been watching the news nonstop on TV, on my laptop, on my phone. The stress of it was too much. I laid on the couch for days. I have the same exact thing. The uncertainty of the whole election was very anxiety inducing. Like, watching the news for hours upon hours and hanging on their every word made my whole body weak. It's just like a panic, you know? A panic that zaps you of all energy, yet at the same time fills you with fear. I was looking at that TV and I was completely catatonic. I'm catatonic. There's this guy running for prez, and he's kind of a jerkin'. When I think about him winning, well, my body stops working. Catatonic's how I feel thinking about the election. Cause the shit is not over, could go in any direction. Like little Bo 
peep in her cute little bonnet. These critters giving me the creeps now. I'm catatonic. I'm, I'm catatonic. catatonic. I'm catatonic. I'm just a shell of a man. I barely exist. Even though we all voted, they're still not done and I'm pissed. Been nervous about the election since early last year. I knew that things would get bad, but yo, I had no idea. Always watching the news, always getting up on it. And now it comes at a price, cause now I'm catatonic. I'm catatonic. I'm catatonic. Dance break! Woo! Yeah! Ha! Get into it now. Mm-hmm. C is for couch. A, cause my ass is up on it. T's for trying my nerves. They freaking love to flaunt it. A's for really annoyed. T's for time for a drink. O is for, oh no, what the hell were you thinking? N is for not, like I'm not doing too well. I's for I, I, I. C is for see you in hell. I'm, I'm catatonic. Cat I'm catatonic. Tarek Davis. Amber Ruffin, you know, we both just out here. Mm hmm Please make sure to help us, it's like a crane or like a dolly. A hand, a helping hand. You know what, drag me to my chair. Mm -hmm. Joe Biden won the presidential election. And even though I'm very excited about that, it's important to stay kind and be a gracious winner. I believe that. but. Trump has been responsible for inciting racist violence, abhorrent border policies, and hundreds of thousands dying in a pandemic. I don't know if I can spare any good wishes for him. But uh, let me try. I wish him health so we'd live a very long life. He'd live to see a divorce from his 20th wife. She'd bleed him dry and he'd die. Penniless, but I don't wish him well. I wish him laughter in times that he's feeling tense, but it's always other people laughing at his expense, and it hurts his big dumb feelings, but I don't wish him well. I hope he develops a misshapen butt and can never find underwear and every kid who ever sees him says hey what's wrong with your derriere they stare i wish him adventures in life on the grandest scale more specifically the kind that you find in jail but that won't be so bad because that's where all his friends are but i don't wish him well I wish him hope in his heart that replaces his rage. He gets his ass beat by kids that he kept in a cage. And they play that shit on pay-per-view. But I don't wish him well. I hope every time he introduces himself, he says, hi, I'm extremely slow. And every time he introduces himself, they reply, I know, they already know. I wish you moved, his face, I said, and you would I don't wish him well. I wish him understanding and deep concern for why people's hate for this man so strongly burns. He'd repent, change his ways, but it would be too late, cause I don't wish him well. No, I, no, I don't. I don't wish him well. You guys, people react to stress in different ways. And over the last four years of the Trump presidency, Americans have reported an overwhelming number of stress-related symptoms like insomnia, ulcers, and rashes. And I'm no exception. 
Ever since people started talking about how Trump isn't going to concede the election, about how he's going to stage a coup instead, I've been having a very specific physical ailment. And frankly, that very specific physical ailment I've been having has been giving me uh, the blues. <laughs> Democracy's in shambles. How will we proceed? Joe Biden's got the votes, but Trump refuses to concede. Trump is traveling round, preaching violence countrywide. He's trying to steal the election and they're stopping me up inside. I'm feeling really pissed. This can't persist. I'm full of shit. I got poo poo. People must be really making it hard to do. This may be oversharing, but my fears about our nation are giving me a big old case of stress induced constipation. Trump calls votes illegal. He tweets without control. Why does my apprehension manifest in my butthole? I'm feeling really pissed. This can't persist. I'm full of shit. I got cool food. If I'm a good, really making it hard. Take it away, Derek. Oh, too constipated. That's right, I got it. Oh, my God, my guts! I got you. Oh, crap, how are we gonna finish? Oh. Oh, help me, Jack! I oh. I'm feeling really pissed. Ah. My stomach's in a twist. Ow. I've had enough of it. God, please help me shit. Oh, there's nothing I can do. I got coo-poo. Oh, my freaking goods! Oh. We ended 2020 and started a new year! Now, I know 2021 isn't exactly perfect so far, but every day of last year felt like being hit in the head with a dull hammer over and over and over with no end in sight. Oh, come on, it wasn't all bad. I know you well enough to know that you can see the good in everything, even a year like 2020. Well, I guess there were some good things that happened. What a year, so full of crushing sorrow. We counted down the days until we found a new tomorrow. The time has come for 21 and 20's finally ended. But it would be a lie to say that some things were not splendid. We all got into Tiger King, Netflix had our affections. And who could forget Donald Trump lost the election? Ha <laughs> And there's, uh... Hi. The, the other thing that happened is, uh... uh there's, a. Uh, Okay, you go. Oh, oh, okay, uh, okay. Oh, I got it. Um, I really like the last dance cause basketball is cool. And Trump lost the election, made himself look like a fool. I already said that. Right, yeah. We made this song way too long. I thought we'd have more things. And the election's really the big one. Uh-huh. So no, oh! Parasite won Best Picture. That was the same year? Yeah, February. Uh, Crazy, right? How about that? Yeah. And who can forget when Donald Trump lost the election? Wow. Okay. We really recorded that backup vocal thinking we would get this far without mentioning it? Certainly did. <laughs> oh, I like that one song. What song? I can't remember what it was called. Uh, it was like, um, oh, I can't. With the music, I can't think. Uh, can we stop the music? We I, it should end soon. Now break it down, y'all. Oh. oh, no. All right, yeah, cut the music. Gosh, we got way too cocky. 2020 wasn't good for shit. Oh, and you know, I didn't even really like the Tiger King that much either. Oh, I didn't like it. I'm still worried about all those poor exploited tigers. That was a dark time. Yeah. Hey, what was the song you were thinking of? Oh. I had the wrong year. Um, it was Hey Ya. Oh, good song. Yeah. <laughs> 